So not all patients who have BRCA2 mutations have DNA repair defects, it's often not biallelic, and many of those patients don't respond to PARP inhibitors, only about half. Uh, other patients, for example, with ATM mutations may not respond to a PARP inhibitor either, and it's generally felt that the patients who are more likely to respond to a PARP inhibitor have a lot of DNA damage across their genome and really have DNA repair defects. The phenotype that EPIC is using uh, ideally will capture those patients uh, who may have other mechanisms of DNA repair defects beyond the homologous repair mutations, such as epigenetic silencing or, or other pathways that may cause DNA repair defects. It's hopeful that that may expand the group of patients that could respond to a PARP inhibitor.